Hi, it's Maisie from Maisie and Frank. Today I'm going to show you how easy our Frank's furniture fondant is to use. Um, I'm going to add some texture to these drawers. They had odd um, holes in them, so I've actually used a little bit to fill the odd holes. And I've done the same on this side. So the secret to um, any good stenciling with our Frank's Furniture Fondant is to have your paddle the same size as your stencil so you cleanly sweep over. If you had a smaller one you'd be doing lots of this. So I have an array of, um, of paddles for different size of um, stencils but today I'm going to use this one. So you just load up your trowel I like to do it nice and thick. If you want a thinner texture, you just press a bit harder. So I've loaded up the trowel all the way across. And you just put it down and lay it down so that you're using the whole surface. And you just slowly move it across and I'm going to start running out about now, so I'm just going to keep going across. And then I'm going to load the trowel up again. And I'm going to start again here, and I'm going to just... Go all the way across. I've got a little bit at the end, so I'm just going to put a bit more on. And I'm just going to come back this way till it joins up. And then I'm going to start back here and I'm just going to do one kind of cleanish sweep. So just I'm not pushing very hard because I want as much texture as possible. But if you want it thinner, I'm just going to add a couple I'm gonna fill in the little holes and the beauty of it is that if it's not perfect when you have finished it doesn't really matter because I'm always going to paint this and if it's not smooth enough for you if you're a real perfectionist when it's dry you can put the stencil back on and uh, fill in the bits that aren't um, dry enough. Now I'm going to take it off straight away and there's my texture and it's you know it's uneven a little bit but I like that and it actually self levels as it dries so what I do because there's a lot of texture on here I'm then I then get my um, I have a piece of paper down and I get my trowel and I pick up all that fondant and put it back in the jar. Um, put the lid on and then wash everything straight away in warm water. I have a little soft brush over at the sink that I use. Then when I come back here, when this is dry, um, I'll obviously reposition the stencil and do the other half when it's dry and it's as easy as that.